These senior volunteers do a lot to improve their community. From these vacation check-ins to blocking off roads at crime scenes, they're always available anytime, night or day. In fact, last year they donated more than 55,000 man hours to the Spokane Police Department. Vacation home checks, north side, we're in car 239. I've met a lot of people in the Spokane Police Department, but none as sweet as Hazel. Hazel's retiring from the senior volunteer force on Monday. She's been doing this for a long time. I just decided 25 years was a long time. Her son works at the jail. When her last child left home, he recommended she look into it. There's something to do. Yeah. And I thought, well, this is interesting. You get out and meet different people, and it's something different every day. Hazel and her partner Dennis have knocked on a lot of doors, but vacation checks aren't all these volunteers do. They deliver mail to cop shops, work the front desk at the public safety building, and so much more. Sometimes we see people with their cars can't go and we have to, um, you know, set up a little traffic control for that. They just do a tremendous amount of work for us. We're very grateful to them. Officer Teresa Fuller says this program is part of a larger picture the police department is trying to paint. And it really is that preventative stuff. So much of what we're trying to do right now is proactive rather than reactive. And this is one of those programs where we can proactively help people keep from being victims while they're on vacation. The Spokane Police Department does have some criteria homes have to meet in order to sign up for vacation checks. For all the details, head to KXLY.com and click on the News Links tab. There's always a need for more volunteers and not just seniors. Reporting in Spokane, Casey Lund, KXLY 4 News.